In this video, we look at library routines. Routines are ready compiled and tested programs that can be run when needed. They're typically grouped together into software libraries. Most programming languages have extensive libraries of pre-built functions. For example, the math library in Python provides common solutions to many everyday problems encountered by programmers who are dealing with numbers. Someone programming in the Windows operating system can make use of dynamic link libraries or DLLs. These libraries contain subroutines written to carry out a common task on the Windows operating system. For example, save as, where the user needs to save their work as a file. All the programmer needs to do is call the appropriate DLL routine with the correct parameters and the save as dialog box will appear. There are many benefits to using library routines. They're quick and easy to hook into your own code. They're pre-tested, so you can be relatively sure they're going to be already free from errors. And they're pre-compiled, so they're typically optimized to run quickly. However, adding additional functionality or making specific tweaks to a library routine can be difficult, if not impossible. Sometimes you are black boxed from the actual implementation. So you have to trust that developers know what they're doing and will continue to maintain the library. You will need to use the following library routines in IGCSE Computer Science. Mod, Div, Round and Random. And we've looked at some of these already in previous videos. So here's some examples of these concepts as they will appear in the Cambridge IGCC pseudocode format, which is listed towards the back of the syllabus. So we've already gone through mod and div in a previous video, which are used to perform integer division. So we'll look at round and random in a bit more detail. Uh, round is quite simple. It takes a number of a fractional component and a number which represents the number of decimal places you want to round the figure to. So here, round brackets 3.143278 comma 2 will return a value of 3.14. It's rounded the number down to two decimal places. Random, on the other hand, returns a random number between 0 and 1 inclusive. So here we provide an example. Let's say uh, we do value becomes equal to random and we call it the random function value has been assigned the number 0.3. Now, obviously, these commands all differ slightly depending on the language that you might actually be learning to program in. So here we've got Python, Visual Basic and Java, three popular languages. And you can see all those different functions there, mod, div, round and random, and how they're actually implemented. And we've got some additional notes there for you on the right. That's everything you need to know for the exam. Pause the video and take some notes.